Yeah, they did. They, they loan us Ray they, Butts they every year. They loan us Ray Butts, yes. You know, you, you can't ask for more than that. That's generosity. Well, the cool thing is, you know, we have had different sponsors at races, and sometimes they come to the tower and you're afraid to ask them about anything dirt bikes because they don't know <laughs> anything about it. But Ray, whose son races and has raced here at the ranch many times, knows the drill as well as anyone. Lives it. Yeah, I, I, I love the tale. He had 18 part numbers emblazoned in his memory when the career started. Wheels and tires. <laughs> Already, okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a story for you about that in a little bit, but we got the <laughs> we 52 got Honda rider yeah, racing on the track. Johnny Garcia into the lead. A pile up here in this uh, anthill on the inside of turn three. And four riders down, but I believe everybody was okay. I tell you, Jason, that, that seems like a lot. We, we've that had turn. very clean starts. This, yes. this, this, this first week. turn's been great. Yeah, absolutely so. Yeah, it's that second turn. There's that anthill, and then usually someone gets kicked. And uh, luckily, they're not going very fast through there, so we haven't seen any injuries. Man, somebody just put that outside to good use right there and picked mm -hmm. up like two spots in that corner on his first lap. So noticed a clear inside line, took it, went for it, and while everybody was bunched up, uh, able to take advantage of it. Well, what I'm not seeing is part of that RM Army, that brigade that was up there in the first mode. So it's Johnny Gar leading them around on the number 52 Honda. And then one machine of Ezra Hastings in... Yeah, so good for Garcia, putting that start to good mm -hmm. use, going to get going to get some lead time in here, and uh, who knows, see where the chips fall. And for Garcia right now, what he needs to do is keep that heart rate under control, uh, be calm, not miss these lines, Jason. Yeah. Doesn't need to blow a corner, doesn't need to overjump something or come up short. He needs to race ahead and not worry about the 51 machine behind him. It's one of the craziest things as we're watching the uh, number 22. 22, not up in our results from the first moto. Hayden Hefner finished 15th, and here he is running up front here. I finally found him. Anyway, one of the craziest things to me is how hard these riders go in the first lap. They did get a sight lap, but you can only memorize so much from the sight lap. We talked to Michael Leslie about it yesterday. He's like, it's pretty much just instincts. You just look when you're riding, and you start figuring out lines then on the fly without practice in the morning. Yeah, well, the way things roll here, that shadow is going to be different. That hole is going to be yep, different. Yep. The hook is going to be different on the end of that rut. And guess what? That rut may not even be there. Yeah, yeah. It's just a complete guess inside, outside in these corners. <clears throat> this track has changed so much. We're watching uh, Hayden Hefner, who has taken the lead from Garcia. So Hefner struggled a bit in Moto 1 with that 15th. But now in the number one spot, Garcia and Hastings coming through. Josh Strickland has been nailing starts all week long. He is in fourth. Joseph Tate, third in the first moto, is fifth. Where are our first moto contenders, Taylor and Fowler? I don't see Rich Taylor, and I don't see Fowler in the top 15. What happened? I'm not sure where those guys are, but I was expecting bigger things, that's for sure. But uh, there's Blake Taylor. That's a different one. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah we're yeah, looking that's, for Richard. You yeah, know, we're looking for Rich Jr. Remember yeah. we saw that four-rider pileup. I have to wonder if one or both of them didn't get involved in that. Because we haven't seen either one as no. of yet. So no. good call, Jason Wygant. Uh -oh. Very well could be. Okay, so we might be looking at first and second in the first moto, basically in about 38th through 40th place. And uh, our leader right now, Hefner, finished 15th in <laughs> moto one. So telling me maybe he picked himself up off the deck. Once yeah, or more something must have gone so, wrong. Uh, but you know what? Good for him. It was a nice, clean move, too, to get the lead. Uh, very calculated and did it before the end of the first lap. Didn't even make it to the finish line and had that lead. So good for him. Johnny Garcia just needs to put it on cruise control right now. He's got Hastings riding right behind him. He's a little quicker than Hastings. But for Garcia right now, take advantage of where you're at. Make the most of it right now. Yeah, they've built a nice little gap over the next pack. These three riders don't get caught up fighting each other. Try to get that moto medal. Ezra Hastings trying to make it happen right now. Johnny Garcia, they're battling it out for second place. You see it with our Red Bull drone shot live here on racertv.com. And the leader, Hayden Hefner, not too far out front. Hayden Hefner, I'll tell you what, he's a classy guy. He's a playboy. Hayden Hefner out front, <laughs> not playing around right now because he has heat. Johnny Garcia is back. Hefner a mistake. Garcia trying to retake the lead. 
Yeah, that's what we said. You know, Garcia just going to kind of hang out maybe and look for a mistake. But when you see that opportunity, you have to take advantage of Not sure what uh, Hefner was doing right there. Like you said, a slight bobble. But look at this. Garcia has new life. Woo, and Garcia. And here he comes, going to take the long way around, Jason. Garcia just bulldog the hog lifted the front end and then triples out. Dude. Johnny Garcia back into the lead. Let's put an exclamation point with a little triple out right there. Headed back into the beach, so uh, back out front, Johnny Garcia responding to that nice clean pass by Hefner. Maybe he saw something out of Hefner in the last two laps that uh, he's been going to put to good use from here on out. We're going to find out what kind of shape Garcia is in because that was a lot of effort that he just put in to, to huck that triple and also manual over some of those big bumps. Oh, my goodness. He's sprinting away right now. He is fired up. Hefner under fire from Ezra Hastings in third. Yeah, see them all right there. Yeah, Joseph Tate hanging out back there in that fourth position. Josh Strickland in the number five spot. Gray Tate in the sixth. Vinny LaHuvi seventh. Austin Winslow in eighth. Spencer Winter in ninth. And Reese Campbell in that number 10 position. So all of these guys right now only on three laps. Actually, our top three, top four only on three laps so far. And as these guys put it together, look at this. Vinny LaHuvi Jr. making time. Vinny LaHuvi coming out of the PA area, able to put himself up into the sixth spot right now. Vinny turning a 201. Your leader's turning a two flat, then a 203 and a 202 right ahead of Vinny. So his 201, he should be able to make up some time. But it's going to be interesting to see how Hefner and Hastings are going to be able to respond uh, to this pressure. Tate and Strickland going to hook up, going to bring themselves uh, closer to the front. Vinny LaHuvi Jr. hopefully going to be able to get himself in the middle of one of those trains right there, kind of get uh, in the tag along mode. Austin Winslow, Austin riding in the number seven position now on that 50 Yamaha. A little bit slower on the pace, about a 204 right now, but Winslow able to see the leaders, able to keep an eye on the uh, group ahead of him, so very important. Gray Tate, a 206, just a couple seconds off of uh, Winslow's uh, pace, but what he has to worry about is he's got to worry about Reese Campbell behind him. Tate turning in uh, 206. Campbell turned about a 204, so definitely making a uh, making a quicker lap time, but probably taking farther around the course, taking a longer line. So uh, we'll see how that plays out for him. But Johnny Garcia looks like uh, out front again. Hayden Hefner able to make that pass there at the end of lap one, but not able to keep it, not able to make it stick. So. Uh, the playboy himself, Hayden Hefner, back in that second position. Ezra Hastings looks like he was turning a 202, so running a bit faster, maybe about a half a second faster than Hefner, but once again, depending on line choice, just really not able to get up there and use that little extra bit of speed. So Tate now on that 81. I don't know what has happened to Hefner. It has come undone. He had the lead, lost a position, lost another one, lost another one here. So Hefner, probably because of that uh, crushed velvet suit that uh, the Hefner family likes to wear. Probably a little bit hot on a hot day like this. I'm not just very kidding. Breathable. He's in regular motocross gear. Yeah, not very breathable. You got to think those tails would be a hindrance as well. <laughs> it gets caught you're up in the seat rear bounce. end. Yeah, you're trying to seat bounce. You got crush velour hanging up <laughs> yeah. on the gripper. He's got a cane. You know? I think you hold on give, with those white gloves. Give gripper a whole new meaning, really, I think so. <laughs> yeah, totally different kind of gripper seat. So Hastings up to second and with the third in Moto1, Joseph Tate up to third here in Moto2, I would think would unofficially be your points leader. We finally have one of your top riders from Moto1 on the radar. It is Jack Fowler in 13th. So my, by my estimates, Fowler and Taylor must have gone down on the first lap in that pileup in turn three, and the rest is history. Yeah, uh, you, you have to be absolutely correct. Out of four guys, they had to be two, two of them. Two of them. <laughs> Can you believe no that? no doubt about it. Uh, poor and Chris Wheeler is down there pounding the Advil right now from Suzuki, seeing the, the one class that they really seem to have on lock, and they go down together. Dude, the ibuprofen going down heavy down yeah. there. Dude, hey, it happens to sure. the best of them. How about your boy Mitch Payton this summer? My oh. gosh, are they star-crossed or what? Holy cow. And you know what? I, I have to say, nothing is a given. And when you see the uh, Geico Honda pulling a whole shot, when you see a star Yamaha pulling a whole shot, you know, there was True. a day that you didn't expect anything, anything, all the way. but a yep. PC Kawasaki 
out right. front. And let me tell you, the development of all these teams, the level of all these riders, hey, Mitch was the first to do it correctly. Peak antifreeze, blue Hondas, team uniform look, Axo gear. Yeah, Everybody yeah. did the same thing. We showed up at the same time. We practiced a great, a great pattern for today's racing, and you see it's successful for all of the teams, but nothing is a given anymore. No, man. In fact, look, we have six brands that can win in any given day in any class out here, and also at the pro level, six. That's really an all-time high watermark for parity in the sport amongst brands. Suzuki trying to get back up the end of the thick of things. Jack Fowler is 13th. And we still do not see Richard Taylor, our first moto winner, inside the top 15. So this is a disaster. I'm trying to find those guys watching out the window here. I see Jack Fowler on the 88. He has two riders in front of him. But where is the 44 of Taylor, our first moto winner? Have you laid eyes on him? I think we finally got him here in the sweeper coming to us on that 44, the RM Army and the FXR gear. So the good news for Taylor is uh, there's three riders right in front of him. He just made another pass. Now he's going after the number 37. Hey, I got to tell you, did you see how that bike moved left? Did you see how he made that move and didn't really care about that rut? That's Rich Taylor Sr. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Hey, hammer through that Hammer rut. through there. Okay. Hammer through there. When in doubt, gas it gas out. Gas it out. Okay. Right. Yeah. And yeah. that, that uh -huh. was the theory of his old man, believe it. Uh, still not enough to be in the top 15, though, for Rich Taylor. Oh, we found him. 44. I'll tell you what. All kinds Game of Game ball to our EraserTV.com crew. They found the 44. We're halfway through the moto. So we've got our first moto winner on camera, but boy, has he got a lot of work to do just trying to work his way into the top 20 right now. He is in 20th place watching the 44 Rich Taylor. He wins Moto 1 down in Moto 2. He's halfway at halfway. Okay, so, so let's, let's see where no we're excuses. at. Let's see what he's got in the tank. And I know one thing, Dad had plenty in the tank on the white flag. Okay. So that was never a problem. Okay, no excuse. If you can pass the first 20 riders in the first 10 minutes, just pass all 20 and then Make it 10. happen. Make it happen. It's that no easy, Jason. It's just math. It's that it's just easy. simple math. So Johnny Garcia throwing it down, has the lead right now. He and Ezra Hastings in a good battle for the number one spot. I got to tell you, Chay, uh, Jason, Hastings made that pass on the first, and I really thought that he was going to take control of this Me thing. Me too. He yeah. pulled a margin for half a lap, and Garcia said, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. That's twice that uh, Garcia, remember it was Hefner, got him too. This Ten dude four. steps it yes. up. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, that guy responds to pressure. Yeah. You only see that kind of racing here at Loretta's. It's so intense. People can find the motivation. There's your gap right now between first and second past the Yamaha Mechanics area. Garcia with two seconds now on Hastings. He's starting to pull back away. Vincent Luhovi moving up. Nah, that's not one of them either. You're looking for Jack Fowler. Hey, Jack Fowler. Jack I'm Fowler has gotten himself into 10th. So he'd be looking at a 210 right now. Where was Garcia? in moto number one. I remember he was up front, and I think he had problems. I know LaHuvi Jr. was uh, sixth place. All right. He started He's this a thing. contender. He started this thing at about 12th, and he uh -huh. is up to fourth place right now. The guy is making time. Look at his lap time now, 2.02, so just outside of your front runners, and uh, actually right behind Tate. Johnny Garcia. 19th in moto number one. He was up front early, Woo. ran into problems. I don't remember exactly what it was, but 19th. So you can scratch our moto winner here from title contention, I think. The way this class is going, 119-1 to get the job done. Looking at a 119-1. Yeah. 22, 22 points, gets it done. Yep. Ezra Hastings, second. Uh. So I guess it'd really be Joseph Tate who'd have a pair of thirds. He might be the rider to watch for this championship. 13 minutes down, six minutes to go. Ezra Hastings on the 51. Hastings is uh, looking at a 2-4. Hast Hastings fourth in Moto 1, second here in Moto 2. And Jack Fowler still 10th, who was the runner up in Moto number one. Okay, so we're thinking that Richard Taylor, our first moto winner, as he comes around right now in our uh, Polisport beach turn, should be just around the top 15. So we'd be looking at one rider with a 119 and another rider with a uh, 115. Jason, we are looking at a 100% different racetrack 
than yeah, we saw true. just a couple it's hours. If, if you start watching these guys on the final straightaway here, if you start watching the entrances into the Ten Commandments, and especially over on the beach, these guys are definitely riding the wide track. They're definitely finding that fringe right now. Yep. And uh, whether they're listening to us or it's just, just instinct or not, I don't I know. know. I mean, but take my advice. I know all about the, it. The, these, guys, these guys are doing that. They're moving out on the track to each side, the inside and the outside, finding those smoother spots. Oh, man, down. Who is that? That is Taylor again, 44 down oh, right in front of man, us. Oh, man, Richard Taylor. On the Husqvarna, or I'm sorry, on the Suzuki, I'm yeah. sorry. But uh, part of that RM Army, but just like the old man, <laughs> going to bring it. Gonna there he is. We got the crash right here on TV, just picking it up. That's us right there in the tower that is rode by. So Richard Taylor had just broken into that top 15 and then goes down a human-like effort. Well, I think he now has to ride with a bent motorcycle. Yeah, that bike's bent, Jason. Yes. No doubt about it. Hanging to the right. I actually tried to turn my head sideways to, to see try to, that was true yeah, or not. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not straight. Got a special stagger in it. It can hold, Cole. <laughs> Telling you what, that thing is pulling to the right big time. So, really unfortunate for Richard Taylor. This second moto has led to his undoing. Johnny Garcia out front on the 52. Looked like Johnny just made a mistake there in that deep rut. Looked oh, like he, okay. Looked like, looked like he dug in a foot, and Hastings able to get a couple bike links in on him right there. Hastings on that 51, trying to close back in from second place. He was five seconds back, probably going to be closer than that. Joseph Tate yeah. is third. He just looked over his shoulder. He wants to know, am I free to go after the leader? Yes, you are. Two laps two, to go. Two lap card is out. And I got to tell you, my, my hat's off to Johnny Garcia right now. My, my hat is off. I'm impressed with this young man, able to respond twice, able to pull that thing out. Somebody pulling over right there must be a lapper. But uh, nonetheless, Garcia, two to go, riding like a seasoned veteran right here in our college 18 to 24 class. Not succumbing to any pressure, not, fall, not paying attention to uh, what's behind him, racing forward the whole time. Johnny Garcia, cool, calm, and collected right now. So, Rod, Rodney, did you say right now as they stand, as Hastings and Tate would be tied? Awesome. Leading into the third moto, great. Fantastic. And uh, with Mr. Garcia having some bad luck in the first moto, pretty tough. And then Lahubi had a sixth in the first moto. So, wow. All three of these guys uh, up front for the championship. Two lap cards still out looking for our leader. Where's that number 52 Honda at? Making his way back through the beach right now, the number 52, Johnny Garcia. Surrendered the lead momentarily on the first lap, responded, able to pull away. And uh, right now, last time around, 7.7 .7 seconds for the man on the 52 Honda, Johnny Garcia. So every time around that half a second adds up at the end of eight laps, guess what? About seven seconds. So there, that's how it happens. Textbook 101 at Loretta Lens for sure. Making his way down to the podium, Jason Wygant for our race tech podium presentation. Going to find out from Johnny what that pass was all about, how he made it happen, and uh, what it took to keep that heart rate under control for this final half a lap here. White flag continues to fly, waiting on our leader to come back around one more time. Going to be seeing that checkered flag in just a few moments. Garcia should be working his way back into the infield here any minute. We're going to bring this College Boy 1824 Moto number two to a close. Garcia now working his way up and through the infield section of the track. 
throttle him back just a touch. Doesn't want to make any mistakes. Doesn't want to miss any of his marks right now and throw anything away. A great ride by this young man here today. Cool, calm, and collected at all times. Johnny Garcia making it happen. Ezra Hastings making an early pass. Tate able to get up there and hang on to those guys. LaHuvi Jr. Levinny started somewhere around that ninth position, worked his way up into the number four spot, throwing down great laps, throwing down two minute, 159 right around there. So Vinny, one of the fastest guys on the track, looking for a better start in our final moto. And right now, here he comes. Here's your winner of moto number two, Johnny Garcia on that number 52 Honda. Waiting on that number 51 machine now to work his way around. All right, Ezra, Ezra Hastings coming across the line that second position. Joseph Tate rounding out your podium in that third position. Number four spot going to Vinny LaHuvi Jr. And Josh Strickland taking that number five spot on the number 23 Honda. Giving that starting line just a bit of a drink down there, giving that uh, first turn a bit of a grooming. Getting ready for that Bell mm, Helmets whole shot award. So Johnny Garcia, the recipient of that, of the Bell whole shot award, and taking a taking a uh, moto win. Don't sleep on this college boy class. I believe it was uh, two years ago that a young man named Justin Cooper actually was champion of this division. And uh, we know what Justin went on to do. Eventually became the Horizon Award winner by sweeping the A classes last year. And now a factory rider and uh, contender weekly in Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. So this class is legit. And this guy is as well. Every time they threw a challenge down, he had an answer for it. He ends up with a big moto win. Let's hear it for Johnny Garcia. You earned that one, man. You had a challenge from a Hefner. You had a bunch of challengers. And every time they got to you, man, you held up under pressure and you pulled away. Oh, yeah. I was just uh, focused on being smooth and smart and riding consistent and uh, leading the whole race. And that's what I did. How cool is it? How good does it feel? And how cool is it to have a gold medal here at Loretta's? Oh, it's, a, it's the best feeling ever. Last time I was up on this podium is in 2010 in the 65 class. So uh, for me to be up here right now, it's a big deal. And I couldn't have done it without everyone that's by my side. Uh, thank you guys so much. Awesome. Who else you want to thank, Johnny? Uh, definitely Nemesis Performance, Rust Racing, Skills Racing, uh, Yoshimira, <sighs> Tamer, Whole Shot Device, Factory Connection, Shannon Ide, and uh, everyone else I forgot. Thank you so much. There it is, Johnny Garcia, your gold medalist. All right. Championship's crazy in this one, unfortunately, for Johnny. Hey, Johnny, what happened, by the way, in the uh, first moto there? I know you were up there, ended up with a 19th. Yeah, I, was, uh, I did all right on the star. I got, like, a top 10 star, and then I went down twice. And after you go down twice in sand section, it's, uh, it's really hard to recuperate and get your mental fatigue down and uh, get back on the bike. But uh, I knew I was going to come back second moto strong and look where I'm at. You did it. Exactly. All right. Good job, Johnny. So that means the championship in this class is crazy because the one, two finishers in moto one were both down early in moto two and didn't make it up to the podium. I want to bring up our second place finisher on the 51 and we'll hand out a silver. So he is in title contention as well. I believe he's looking at a four and a two and we'll bring up the 51 right now. Hold on here, we're gonna Bell Helmets whole shot award, get the photo. Oh yeah. So in contention for the championship, second place man on the 51. Come around the front here. Let's hear it for Ezra Hastings. All right, Ezra, you're in the hunt, man. You've had two pretty solid motos. Uh, yeah, first moto, did really good. And then the last lap, I just got a little cross and just tried to finish strong, and today I got a really bad jump and just held her on around the outside, and it paid off, and then did my thing. All right. What about Moto3, man? What's it going to be like thinking about that one? 
Uh, um, from last year, last year was tough, but I've, now I've got experience with it, so it shouldn't be as bad this year. Cool. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, everybody at Who's Retire, um, all the, everybody out at uh, SSR for helping me out the past couple weeks. Uh, my dad for everything, my brother back home, uh, my girlfriend and her brother for coming out to watch me, uh, Mathis, or Amsoil, and uh, Fly Racing, Kuzo at 100%, FMF Joel, um, everybody else, thank you. All right, let's hear it for Ezra Hastings, second place in College Boy. And third place, this guy's been consistent, Head out a bronze medal. Two podium trips for him. Come around front. Let's hear it for Joseph Tate. All right, Joey, take me through that one. Uh, I got a little bit worse of a start than the first moto. I think I came out like 10. And uh, I just put on a couple quick passes. I think by the first lap, I came around fifth. and. Just picked off the other two guys, finished out there. All right. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, I want to thank everyone at South of the Border, Mike Burkeen, Matt Burkeen, Freddie Noren, Chad G, Ryan Schaefer, everybody over there, uh, Scott Goggles, Fox, Real Inc., uh, Milford Riders Club, uh, F3 Filter Cleaner, Dunlop, all my friends and family for supporting me this week. Um, everyone back home, all the New England fans, uh, Danbury Power Sports, Ace Tire, Cole Beach Photos, uh, Factory Connection, and FC Mike. I lost a friend last week, uh, passed away in a motorcycle accident, so I'm riding for cheese this week. Love you, brother. All right, that's awesome. All right, you made him proud. Let's hear it for Joseph Tate. So that's our college podium. I'll send it back up to the tower.